Mexican state of Chihuahua in its rugged terrain is a land of magic and myth. People here tell stories of outlaws and heroes. They talk about hidden treasures in the mountains where Pancho Villa and his men once roamed. But the villages here are now deserted. People left after the timber industry died and the train stopped running. All that's left is this gasoline-powered trolley. But further down the track, there's a town that not only survived, but prospered. They call it Un Milagro, the miracle of Mata Ortiz. The people here sing ballads, corridos, in honor of the man responsible for their good fortune. Juan Quesada. The story started a long time ago, high in the nearby mountains. Over 40 years ago, he was a poor farm boy gathering firewood to sell in town. Muy buen ejercicio. Climbing up the slope, he stumbled across a cave, and in it, a treasure that would save his village. Mire. Aquí vía, nos enterraron de mismo. Estos son de, de, de material muy fino, mire, vea, ¿no? Y esto fue lo que usted se encontró, pero se no, encontró no, no, ollas no. más. Yo sé, yo, yo me encontré ollas enteras. También. What he found were beautifully painted ceramic pots made by his ancestors, the Pakime Indians, a lost culture from hundreds of years ago. Fue la primera vez que las vi, entonces dije, bueno, Los antiguos tienen que ver recogido la materia prima aquí en esta área, no es más que buscar, experimentar y voy a lograr una pieza de estas. It took him years of trial and error, but finally Juan Quesada taught himself to make a good copy of the ancient Indian designs. He made more and sold a few to passing visitors. Then some of Juan's pots turned up in a second-hand store in New Mexico. Those pots seemed to have a life of their own. It's as if they stood up on their hind legs and they shouted at me, look at us, we're made by someone who knows who he is. And it's, it's like a fairy tale. I like to Anthropologist Spencer McCollum searched all over northern Mexico to find the unknown artist. And when he did, they formed a partnership. It was just the beginning of six years full time then working with Juan, developing a market in the United States that would support the quality that he wanted to do, he aspired to. Today, Juan Quesada is famous and his work is collected all over the world. But that's not the only reason the people of Mata Ortiz sing corridos about him. Me acordé de un, de un dicho que tenía mi jefita que no se le da un, un pescado al necesitado, que se le enseña a pescar. Cada uno les hice un poquito de barro para unas dos piezas. Le dije, van a, van a aprender a hacer ollas. Pero Juan, nosotros ollas se le hacía imposible en, en su rostro, en su, en su voz. Y, ¿Cómo? No, 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 ollas nunca vamos a hacer. And that was Juan Quesada's miracle. Today, there are hundreds of potters in Mata Ortiz. It's a town of artesanos. No two artists' work is the same. The intricate designs painted on these pots are still inspired by the Pakime artwork. It takes patience and a steady hand. The artists use brushes made with children's hair. The painting alone can take days. The secrets of their art lie in the same stream beds and mountains the Pakime Indians worked centuries ago. In one of the mountains, we have the barro. In the next mountain, we have the pintura negra. 
del otro lado del río hay otros barros de diferente color. Entonces, es difícil encontrar tanto material que es bueno para hacer cerámica en un solo lugar. Jorge Quintana es uno de los más successful potters. Gracias a la cerámica he, he viajado, he conocido muchas ciudades en Estados Unidos. Abre otras puertas que yo creo que ni como profesionista las hubiera tenido. Ahora hay gentes que me consideran un artista. The pottery's reputation has brought prosperity to Mata Ortiz. Me llena de orgullo este trabajo porque ellos vienen aquí. Yo no voy a Estados Unidos a traer los dólares. Aquí vienen y me los traen. The dollars come with buyers like Jerry Boyd. He buys pots for art galleries in the United States. People in the U.S. are saying, you know, this stuff is incredible. It's, it seems to win over whoever really gets into it. The diversity, the, the colors, it's got a reputation now as being some of the best in the world. Many fairy tales start out with a desperately poor young woodcutter, and that's just the way it was with Juan. Several years ago, he was awarded the Premio Nacional de los Artes, which is the highest honor Mexico can give a living artist. So it is a fairy tale. And it doesn't hurt a fairy tale to be true, does it? Seguimos a Juan. Es el maestro y pues yo creo que si Juan Quesada no no hubiera empezado a hacer ollas, no se harían ollas aquí. All of Chihuahua wants to give you thanks. Gracias, the song says. To our great teacher, our friend, Juan Quesada.